Hello guys, everyone likes shorter code, right? But it still has to be readable. So Laravel has a lot of helpers and small details that you should know to be able to write so-called one-liners or one-sentences, so to speak. So instead of having two sentences or instead of having if statement or instead of having a loop, it is possible to sometimes get away with one line or one sentence of code. And in this video, I will show you a few of such examples from various topics. Let's go with number one shorter way to write a board 404 if something is not found in eloquent so sometimes i see something like this so find by id and if there is no record found a board 404 in eloquent there's a shorter way to do that so for example if the user is found shows the profile but if the id is not found it shows 404 page it works okay but you can get rid of this one and do find or fail it will have the same result that or fail will show exactly 404 refresh the page nothing changes and users one still shows the page so that's a shorter one-liner very similar situation what if you're looking for the first record by some condition and then if it's not found 404 again eloquent can help you with first or fail so there's find or fail and there's also first or fail so same thing, you don't need to have if statements. So this is one liner to go with. Another example I see quite often is these three sentences. So getting the first of something, if it exists, it's okay. If it doesn't exist, then we create a record. So the result of all of that should be the record, either new created or already existing. And for that, again, Eloquent has a method that can allow you to do that in one line. So first or create like this. And it has two parameters, condition and new record fields. So condition should be array and then new field should be array. So first array should be username is username. So these, and we don't need where condition anymore. So user first or create username equals request username. And if it's not found by username, then we put in all the elements of the second array into this parameter. And that's it. So instead of three sentences, we have one sentence in Eloquent. A very similar example is for updating or creating a record. So if it's found by username, then we update some data. Otherwise, we create the whole record, including that field. This example is pretty artificial and not really realistic. So to update email and password on the username, but still structurally, let's take a look. Similar to first or create, there's also update or create. So update or create. And again, it has two parameters of arrays. First, what to search for. So only username. Let's just copy this into here and remove all the others. So no email and password. So we search for username. And if it's found, then we have email and password to be updated. So it works like this. If the record by first conditions is found, then it is updated with those fields in the second array. If it's not found, then it is created. The whole record is created with all the merged attributes of all two arrays. So instead of if else, we have something like this. Another shorter one-liner, this example will be from one-liner to shorter one-liner. I often see that when creating the task, people are providing the parent ID directly in the array. There is a shorter way to do that if you use has many relationship. So in this example, task belongs to a user and then user has many tasks. So if we go to user model, create the relationship of has many tasks, return this has many task class like this, then what we can do is to use a parent record, which in our case is auth user, which returns user model object, and then go tasks, create like this. So we don't need to specify user ID anymore. It comes from auth user. And then we need to provide only one parameter of the data or like one less parameter in the array. So you don't need to provide the parent ID record. It's a bit shorter. 
Next one liner I will show directly from my GitHub repository with Laravel tips and there are in total of 126 tips so I will link that in the description below for those of you who haven't seen that and I thought to show it from GitHub because it would take quite a lot of time to set it up the whole situation locally I better spend that time shooting the next video so one liner with pivot table with extra relationship so imagine a scenario so user belongs to many roles pretty typical but user may have different roles in different teams. So for example, user role is a pivot table of role user. And then inside of that pivot table, there is a team ID field belonging to a team, or it could be a company or something like that. So if you specify pivot table as a separate eloquent model, which extends not model, but extends pivot, inside of that, you can define relationship belongs to and then this one liner is the result. First time I've seen it and I've done it, it felt like totally like a joke that this line would actually work, but it does work. So we get the user, we get user roles, we get the first role, which returns us the object of role. Then we get the pivot table from that. Then we get the relationship to the team from this, and then we get the team name. Next one liner is for those of you who use factories for seeding some fake data. And in Laravel 8, it became a really short syntax to create records with as many relationships. So for example, if you want to seed a user with three random posts, you just use has, then parent factory, child factory, count of how many records you want, done. Isn't it a short one liner, but it can be even shorter with magic methods like this. So create a user with three posts, which is has many relationship like this. And there are a few parameters that you can provide. There is a state or you can provide additional array or even pass the parameters to that callback function. So a lot of stuff. But if you want to see the factory relationship of parent and children, this is the way to go. Finally, I want to show you a tweet with one liner using Laravel collections. And it is a very old topic, but I still see a lot of people doing long loops and if statements instead of using collections for some operations. So in this case, as you can see on the left, there is a for each and if and then if loop last or not last, then showing the comma or showing end word instead of that, this is the result one liner. And if we follow that link from that tweet, there's a lot of available methods for manipulating the collections. And to be honest, the examples on the official documentation is not that realistic. It's not eloquent records or something. It's more like numbers or foo or something. So if you want to dig deeper, search more about eloquent collections, examples and methods, or you can find a book refactor to collections. I think it is called refactoring to collections by Adam Watham. It's really old. It was released in 2016, but nothing changed in collection syntax since then. So if you want to avoid loops of for each for and if statements and want to have one liners like this one, I suggest you at least try using collections. If you have any more examples of one liners, let's share it together with the audience, whether it's written by you or you saw something on Twitter or GitHub or some gist or whatever, share them below and also share your ideas what you like to see in next daily videos because I'm shooting them daily now. I don't promise that I accept all the ideas because I have dozens of them every day, but still I listen to you. I read the comments, so please be active. And if you want to support this channel, this daily video mission, subscribe to the channel and check out one of the three products that you can see on the screen. These are the products from my team and myself. And the more financial support I get there, the more time I personally have to go to the office every morning and shoot these daily videos like this one. See you guys in other videos.